as much as there are benefits in the financial part of it, it's actually quite nice to deal with stuff that's actually helping people that need it um, rather than, you know, fairly well-to-do students, for instance, mm. or, you know, professional people mm. that are doing well and you're just charging them a rent. You're kind of, you're helping people have a house and, and feel safe with, for their families, which is which is a pretty cool yeah. thing to be involved in. Yeah, do you know, it's, it's funny because... I, I've obviously, both of us have been working in this in this sector for quite some time in terms of just property in general. And one thing that, that kind of annoys me, and I don't know if you have the same thing, because I was talking to someone the other day and I was saying, it's funny how when you are in this lifestyle of what I would call like the 1% lifestyle, where you are looking to be successful, looking to improve yourself, you kind of forget that the 99% lifestyle exists. And yeah. so, like a couple of weeks ago, I went to uh, went to Twickenham to watch the rugby, and I was with a load of people that, they, you know, they're just they, they're really great people, but they're just nine to fivers. You know, they just go go and have, go and have a job. And you mentioned some of the stuff that you do. So I was talking to them about um, you know some of the clients that I have and some of the you know the properties they own, their big big portfolios, and their instant reaction is, oh, just money grabbing. You know, uh, the, the, the like the fat cat landlord. Um, idea and I and I said to them look I don't want to get into it because now's not the time you know we're here to have a beer and watch a bit of rugby but actually you'll be surprised that stereotype is just so old-fashioned and so irrelevant because so many landlords actually take such a, a great amount of pride in knowing that they are housing people and they want to create a really nice living environment for people um, to to reside in and I think I mean going into, into the social housing sector just basically takes that to the next level doesn't it yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, you, you get that with it. any business that means you make more money than somebody else. There must be something you're something you're doing, and and you know, people. I think people in general, and this is another debate entirely, but people genuinely think that if you have wealth, that means you've taken it from somebody who doesn't have wealth. It's like it, it's not it's not that one directional. It doesn't mean that you know that the owner of Netflix isn't like making you skint and and taking food off your table you're you're openly paying him for a service that you clearly appreciate and value and it's no different in property really um obviously you get people that are, that are kind of house hoarders you could call them um but someone's got to own them um and and it doesn't really matter if it's one person or a hundred thousand people it, it, it's irrelevant who to, to anybody else as long as they are creating a good home and they're looking after their tenants because that's half of it mm. um is there are rogue landlords out there and there are a lot of shit shit landlords that don't look after their tenants yeah um, but again they're probably the one percent out of the do, industry do, do you know uh, not to go off on too much of a tangent on this but it's been, this reminds me of uh and so i'm i'm I, i'm old-fashioned i quite like going on twitter quite a lot because I, I like just watching conversations happen and i remember probably about a year ago now and I try to not get involved, but sometimes I just can't help myself. Somebody, there was like this twi this Twitter conversation going on, um, and to be honest, they were a bunch of twits as well. They they were they basically were debating the fact that they think that all um, private landlords should be made to give up all of their property so that it freed up stock for first time buyers to buy. <laughs> and I and I just thought please don't tell me this is like a popularist thought because that is just literally the stupidest thing that I think I've come across in such a long time. But yeah. I tried not to get involved. I did. I dived in like an idiot and I, and I pulled myself back out of it pretty quickly when I realized it was just pointless. Um, but I just, I just couldn't understand how anyone can think that that in the real world actually works. Landlords are creating homes for people. We don't have enough homes in this country and the private rental sector is the easiest way to ensure that every person that needs it has a home, um, you know, in the UK. It's as simple as that. Yeah, uh, you know, and again, like you say, it's, it's a very in-depth in conversation. And um, it's like, if it, th these are the same people that complain about the government and the councils aren't doing enough. So you're saying if there's no private landlords, then all of it will be owned by the councils. Um, and and you've probably said that they can't do their job right. It's it's like none of it makes sense, and people just <laughs> like to moan at, at people who have money or seemingly have money. Because the other thing is, most landlords um, would really struggle if they didn't get their monthly rent payment, <clears throat> and people don't seem to realise that either. You know, when they go and and just don't pay for a couple of months and find it hilarious, um, you know, that could be someone who inherited that property and actually rely on the income from that. Um, you just never know with these things. It's never it's never as straightforward as people seem to think. Otherwise, it, it would be fixed. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a it's a tricky thing because I, I guess like like anything, like you said at the beginning, if if somebody has something that you don't, the 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 the, the mindset just seems to be well, they they they've got there by some kind of illegal or you know slightly naughty means, which is which is ridiculous. Mm -hmm.